The unsafe conditions at the, at the school continue to threaten the safety of our children. Two South Bay families plan to sue the Sweetwater Union High School District after their kids were hurt due to what they call unsafe conditions on campus. ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo tells us those families blame the district for letting schools fall into dangerous states of disrepair. Standing outside Castle Park High School. So yesterday we filed claims on behalf of two young men against the Sweetwater School District. Attorneys from Alder Law announced their plans to file a lawsuit on behalf of two families. We hope that this process wakes up the school district to fix and make the unsafe conditions at this school better. Both families say their teens were hurt during PE at two separate schools, one at Castle Park High, the other at Southwest High. One injury happened last December where a teen fractured his elbow. The most recent injury this August where another teen stepped into a pothole and fractured his ankle. It was a little disappointing um, to get that phone call and to now, you know, continue not getting answers. Earlier this year, an anonymous social media account started posting pictures of deteriorating conditions at Castle Park High, which led to protest, a school meeting, and growing demands for the district to take action and make repairs. In July, the district unanimously approved a plan to seek bond money for improvements, but that is not a done deal yet. That's very upsetting. Um, I send my children to school, you know, in a safe place, hoping it's a safe place, you know, a place where they can learn and just focus. In a statement, the district said, quote, the Sweetwater District prioritizes the safety and security of our students. The district will continue to review campus facility needs. Additionally, the district does not respond and or comment on litigation. In Chula Vista, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. And the families say they plan to file the lawsuit formally next week. They told 10 News they don't want to file it, but they hope doing so will force the district to make changes and keep students safe.